Hey, what's up, loves? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I'm going to do a What's the Tea reading for you guys tonight. So I don't know what timeline you're on. So get in where you fit in. Use the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video and never force the message to fit, okay? Don't forget these messages are for entertainment purposes only. So if you do want to get your own personal reading, I do encourage you to go to my website, which you can find in my bio of my TikTok. All right, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, I am offering a special here. One question for $5, two questions for $8, three questions for $12. All you got to do is cash at me, okay? Um, leave your email because I'm going to need to get in contact with y'all to get your questions. So please do not forget that. That is very, very important, okay? Um, hmm. So it looks like somebody is going to be faced with a choice, basically. But this choice is going to have astounding effects on your life. Like this is one of these choices here where I feel like somebody has been really sitting back, reflecting and um, trying to gain some type of wisdom or understanding. Like this is one of these choices where somebody may have had some type of self-doubt, okay, or wasn't fully awakened to the possibilities. All right, so I got the judgment card that came out. I got an empress on the board. And I got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So we got Divine Feminine Energy coming in. But what it looks like is that somebody is now... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I start laughing. <laughs> so somebody is really happy about this. And I feel like whoever this is, it's like they're not exactly verbalizing it yet, okay? But it's like they're laughing, like they're giggling to themselves like, oh yeah, they're going to be surprised about this because I feel like you may have had some type of run with this situation where um, you guys had to go through a transformation. Basically, it's like an ascension process or an awakening or something. It's like you were called to rise up and embrace a higher level of consciousness on your journey, right? Because again, you got a purpose, all right? Your service is to be in service, all right? So this is a part of your life person purpose. So, and look, I said person. So most likely this could be your person, right? For some of you, it could be a, a twin flame dynamic um, that may not be for all, all right? But however, with this divine feminine energy coming in, we definitely see that there has been an awakening, an ascension, an elevation or something, because when you get to this level, you've made it, okay? That's balance. And so now how I'm seeing it is like somebody is recognizing here or now, um, uh, I don't want to say calling judgment, but they're being called to awaken, to make a certain decision here. All right. And, and that's to have that long-term everything, long-term wealth, long-term relationship, um, uh, family, you know, all of those things coming and combining together. I do also feel like somebody in the past could have been just making, you know, hasty, hasty choices or judgments. And it's like, when you do that, you end up um, making bad choices. Let's just put it that way, right? So it, it could have just like you could have had situations where it was some type of divorce, financial issues, breakups, conflict within the family, relationships, things of that nature. So tell me about this judgment card. Definitely something was getting in between you. Being able to reach this Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you may have had a lot of adversity. Also, um, some forces. That's how I keep hearing it. Some forces that could have been trying to come against you and what is divinely ordered to be yours. This is like, yeah, this is like, I don't want to say destiny, but it seems like it's deeper than destiny. Like, it's faded, okay? The chariot card comes out, right? So whatever it was, you you overcame that. determination it's like this feeling of like you know what i'm gonna conquer this mountain because you gotta go right you like i'm trying to get to my ten of pentacles i'm trying to get to my legacy my financial wealth i need to have a good retirement you know what I'm saying i want to have family i want to get married you know whatever that may be knight of wands comes out and it's like 
that's that type of ambition. Like you go in with this ambition and you go in with this um, determination, okay, to make this happen. And, and I feel like somebody just was at a point in their life was like, you know what, I'm ready to slay these dragons, right? Um, with the Knight of Wands coming out. Now, with the Seven of Cups coming out here, again, it's like you got these choices, you got options. And somebody was not making the best choices, choosing wrong. And not being able to get to that point in their life where they can they can have something long term and something stable, whether that's you or somebody connected to you. Um, I do feel like you guys could be on the same frequency with somebody. OK, because somebody is definitely at this point here of, you know what? I got to do what's best for me, what's for my highest good at this point. Right. Four swords comes out. Okay, so you may have been resting, um, rejuvenating, taking a break from relationships, just pouring into yourself, you know, really trying to heal and, and not really get into anything. Nothing serious is what I'm hearing. So show me what I need to see here. Let's put to you on this screen. Can't get the cards to come out. Unfazed. Wasting time. Yep. Spiritual haters. It's just, like I said, it's like it speaks of everything that I spoke of. I, I feel like you have, you know, remained unfazed, okay, about what's happening around you. You got to the point where it's just like, I'm not going to pay attention to what's happening in the 3d because i already know what's done in the 5d it's no point of wasting time you know like whoever you could have been connected to they definitely were stuck or they may have felt limited let's just put it that way and that's why they weren't really moving forward here because i feel like they may have lost hope in what they really actually believed for themselves at one point okay and then again it's like i said it's like the opposition and the adversity and the people that could have been coming in between this connection because again if you got a divine feminine and divine masculine energy coming together that's powerful so all types of forces are going to come against you that's where the spiritual haters come in okay that's where the negative entities or energies come in Somebody definitely hates on you. They don't like you. They don't like your spirituality. They don't like your light. They don't like the magic that you possess or the power. And so this person may literally sit behind the scenes like they just be behind the scenes. They don't even got the gumption to even face you. And they just hate on you. Evil eye you. Some um, Somebody may even be trying to do spell work over you, but it just doesn't work because you're an empress. You're already at a frequency that's high. It's too high to even be affected by these spiritual haters. And so that's the key, right? When people be like, I think somebody's doing spell work on me, da, da, da. Yeah, they can do it all they want. But if you are not operating at a lower frequency, it won't affect you. Okay? So this is why it's always good, you know, to have balance. Your balance, your frequency, all of that is key, okay, to your evolution. It's key to your growth and everything. It, it, when you're in alignment and you're balanced like this as the empress, then you're manifesting in your life. You're attracting amazing things to you, people, relationships, opportunities, okay, and deflecting whatever is negative. Anything else? The will card comes out. <clears throat> so this is the new, your new beginning. It's the end of delays now. So you get this change in direction that is really offering you happiness. Let me see something. I felt like I heard one more card. One more card. Look at that. The emperor comes out. And the empress. I'm loving that energy, y'all. Um, again, like I said, that's that mirroring energy. We got two people that are on the same page or this if it ain't about another person it could literally be about you operating in that masculine feminine energy okay you you knowing how to operate in duality and how to balance your light and your your dark side of yourself it's like you got this part where you're in your logic you're stable you're disciplined you take charge you in the empress energy that's the the feminine energy where you manifesting out of you're, you're grounded, you're balanced, you're connected to the source God, you know, you are healing, okay, you're working on your own self-love, your self-care, things like that, very nurturing energy for yourself, all right, so, okay, it's happening now, 
All right, so take charge. Peace.